Um, I decided we'd clean it up and it would be a very practical piece of furniture. This is actually going to look really nice. I'm excited. We are going to pop into HomeSense and we are going to mix this all up so it's well mixed. I am going to go through mine. I've got a lot of shoes. This looks really, really good. Good morning and welcome back to a new weekend vlog. How are you doing well? How you had a good week? Let us know what you've been up to. I'm starting this vlog off with a bit of DIY. I meant to start this when we bought it and I just didn't get around to it. Anyway, I'm going to show you what the plan is um, and I hope you'll enjoy this weekend's vlog with us by the way. It's a homely one don't really know what we're going to be doing but um, I'm sure we'll have some fun chats and do some fun things. So this unit has finally died, the door no longer glues, it's split, every time I open it it falls off. It is over 20 years old and it is only an Ikea one, it's not solid wood so it's done really really well. So I wanted to buy something to replace it but something that would also work well in the new house. I wanted something with a bit of character, I didn't mind doing a bit of work on it, and I found this. I found this drawer unit, um, not drawer, cupboard unit. I have started working on it already. It looked a lot cleaner and better in the photos. I didn't realise it was needing so much TLC, but I love the details on it. It's very pretty, it's got some beautiful hinges. Um, everything works well, the doors all close. Um, nice little um, thingy in there, shelf, which I really like, and it's got the two drawers. I think it's very practical, and it was only 30 pounds. I just, it looks like it's had nail varnish or something on it. Um, I decided we'd clean it up and it would be a very practical piece of furniture. I'm thinking of having it in the kitchen area, in the, in the dining area of the kitchen, and maybe having it as a bit of a bar. That's what I'm thinking. You know how much we love a cocktail bar. Um, and it's also really good. We could have like um, things like tablecloths in here. You know, the, oh, what do you call them? The bits that you put under the plates. Can't think what they're called. Are they serge plates, serge plates? What are they called? My mind's gone blank. You know what I mean. That kind of thing. Candles. All that could live in here. It could be a very, very handy piece of furniture. Um, we've decided to rub it back. I would like to paint it, but I'd like the darker features of the um, unit to come through. So we're just kind of like, it's got some very, very thick layers of chalk paint. So we're currently getting rid of those. Um, we're actually using um, alcohol, hand sanitizer. And it's coming off really, really well, as you can see. Um, we've actually been using just a spoon to chip away at it. And um, yeah, I've got rid of all of this. Well, both of us, we've both been working on it. It's coming off so well. I was doing it with two hands before, with the hand sanitizer. I'm so pleased with this. And aids in the garden cleaning the roof box, which we've only ever used once. We bought it, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 years ago, something like that. And um, we've used it the once, so we're going to try and sell that. I've actually really washed it down with some Sephora, and now I'm just going over. What I want to do, I still want to paint it white. I want some darker features coming through so I'm just rubbing it with some a sandpaper block just to when I do paint it those bits then really show through I think that will look really nice and we've got to decide what kind of knobs we're going for go. I am loving that look imagine that cleaned up with some of the darker wood showing through what do you think? And what kind of knobs do you think we should go for? And one other thing, what cleans up hinges? What can I get to clean up the hinges? Progress report, aids at Waitrose. And um, I'm just continuing with this. I'm determined now to get this top finished. 
um, and I've just been sanding down these details. I'm thinking maybe actually pale gray rather than white. I think I might do that. I am covered in dust and I don't want to walk through a clean room like this. I tried not to just buy, just go out and buy loads of stuff like paint stripper and stuff like that. Try to make use of what we've got. I've got a husband, <coughs> I've got a husband with a lot of OCDs. We have so much hand sanitizer in the house. <coughs> So the alcohol in this is working really well. Just trying nail polish remover, just to clean up some of the marks and that is working a treat too. I need to remove those um, old doorknobs. That is working so well. I like that. I really like this gray and the cream. Let's see if we can get all this nail polish off. Around. Yeah, that is coming off so well. I'm really pleased with that. Let's try more on this other side. You can see here, although I've sanded it, it's still quite grey around the edge. As in, like, dirty. And again, that is just coming off so well. There. Yeah, just something that I had in my cupboards already. Take off that blue up there. I'm really enjoying this. I haven't done anything like this for so long. This is so, so therapeutic. Let's see how these clean up. So I've washed all this down already. I'll just give these a really good wash down as well. The alcohol is from the... Um, what do you call it? The nail polish remover is coming off the hinges. Oh, I am so happy with this. You know, Aid's just been gone a short while. I really wanted him, because he's been out in the garden as well, to come back and really see a difference in this. Aid doesn't naturally praise. He is naturally a negative person. So even if you've done something really good, this goes for me or the kids or anyone, rather than say, well done, it's he'll find something that you could have done better. So like when he came, he'd come down from the shower, seen how much I'd done on the top. All he focused on was the floor. And the fact that this is porous and it's gonna be a nightmare to clean. So I'm really hoping he'll come back from Waitrose and see a difference because those doors are so, so much cleaner. I am so pleased. This stuff, just nail varnish remover is amazing. Look at this. Let me do it on this side as well. Just nail varnish remover. Oh, got the strap in all the dust. It just cleans up so well and I love seeing a hint of the dark wood through. Really, really loving this look. Doesn't that look cool? I'm just loving that kind of vintage French country look. That's exactly what I'm after. I'm on the last bit. So hot. <laughs> Just getting the last bit of that off. Um, I will put some paint on and then sort of tackle those bits. But the edge, I've actually sanded down. I love the way it dips in areas. I've sanded all that down. I think this is actually gonna look really nice. I'm excited. I think it's gonna look even better than I expected. All the paint is off. I'm gonna give this a wipe over. I'm just giving it with a wet cloth for now just to see if any other bits of paint need to come off. I'm then going to wipe it, I think, with the nail varnish remover just to remove any last bits of paint. I'm very excited about this. The more I do, the more excited I am. So I've washed it down and dried it, and I'm now just going to wipe over some nail varnish remover. As you can see, that's coming up really nicely now. What a difference that's made. I am so pleased. I didn't even mean to do it. Um, we'd been out and Aid went up for a shower and I just started chipping away at the paint while he went for a shower. And now, two hours later, I've finished it. It's taken me two hours. I'm so pleased just with hand sanitizer, nail varnish remover, and the back of a spoon. I did change to my cheese slice. 
as I was getting more off with that. I am so happy. And I didn't need to go and buy anything like a sander or any paint strippers. I've just used what I've got in the house. I'm really happy with this. I've just been doing the hoovering. I'll mop afterwards. I want to um, swap that one to that one. And that one is going in the bin. I'll show you what I mean. I am just fed up with trying to keep the doors together. It's all split on the side now. Um, it's just such a pain. And like I said, we've had it for 20 odd years. That is everything from the cupboard. And I want to declutter the shoes as well. This might be the perfect fix. It's a bit bigger than the other one. Goes in perfect. Perfect height with the windowsill and the shoe basket. I am so happy with this. Really, really pleased. Really pleased. That is such a good fit. I've got to finish cleaning this floorway now though. Cleaned it all inside and now I'm going to fill it again. I was just saying how my plant's kind of outgrown this space now because she's got quite big. She was a cutting off my sister's and I've just noticed that she's having babies. I was wondering why she wasn't because all my other, my sister's plants just have so many babies and she wasn't and she's flowering. I am so, so happy. Well done girl. You're doing well. Oh, almost moved back in. I'm just going to make a couple of changes. Had this picture of the two of us, and I'm wondering about sanding down the edges. Although it's not wood, I wonder if actually that would look quite nice. So we're going to head out to Home Sense. Aid's taken off one of the knobs just so we can kind of see size wise. And um, we're wanting something vintagey looking. We are going to pop into Home Sense. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more fun than it was last time we came. It's really boring. Um, but we only want knobs anyway. Hopefully, we will find some good antique looking knobs. Halfords is already closed. That's closed, Danny. I love those. Seven nine. Oh, it's just for one seven nine. Oh, is it level three? Are they individual? Yeah like those oh look is that what we need to go on our thingy wine bar <laughs> i was not keen either i was joking about this little mickey mouse pen holder four pounds both seen these that we like they would go well i was kind of thinking though black with the kitchen but i don't like those because um Green, I know. I was more thinking black, thinking that um, with the door handles we've chosen. But I think we're going to struggle. Do you like those? Not as keen. No, I think they're more to suit with it. Yeah. Personally. They're silver though. Yeah. No, I was just Does saying. No, I was just saying. How much are they? Still seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Not really much choice, is there? She down there? Snakes? Yeah, I looked at these. Mm. You like a fox? No, but I'm not keen on those. You don't like I think they're for these. Yeah, I agree with the you. Colour, it kind of suits the colour of the unit. More so than the green. We do like green. So we have ended up with these ones and at the till. We nearly bought it last time, didn't we? And then I regretted not. We have, we're going to try skinny syrup before. We haven't bought these before. £4.99. We've chosen caramel pecan, zero calories, zero sugar. So we're thinking we might try a um, caramel pecan iced latte tomorrow. Walked around with his bloody shoes on and made my clean floor filthy again. Anyway, these are the knobs.
I think they will go very nicely. Yeah, I think that goes really nicely on there. Mm. You pleased with that? I am, yeah. Yeah, I am. It's better than what was originally on there. Cool. So whilst Aid is putting the new knobs on, I'm going to make a really quick supper feast. I'm going to make a really quick jalapeno and cheese dip. I've just got some Morrison's own soft cheese. I love buying this. 83p a pack. It's really good value. I'm just going to pop it in here into my dish. Get a decent amount. Another quick supper. It's been a very productive day. Go. and to the cheese spread I'm just going to grate off a load of cheese and next I'm going to add some sliced jalapenos in there I'm also going to add some salt and pepper I think I might add a bit of paprika today actually I don't usually add that but why not let's add a little bit of paprika as well we are going to mix this all up so it's well mixed. Are you excited for this? Jalapenos all the way. This is like a jalapeno popper fix, but not quite, is it? Yeah. Nice layer of cheese on top, and that is going under the grill. Yeah, I am so pleased. Those knobs go really, really well. Just need to sort that bit of grey paint out in the middle. I wish I hadn't have done that. Um, it kind of goes with that though, so I might sand it a bit down tomorrow, but I think they, it's getting dark, so I've got a bit of shadowing there. I think they're a really, really good fit. And we were just talking, we love this finish. We really, really love this. My very unplanned charcuterie plate. Um, I had some crackers, scones that I made recently, Cheese, apple, salami. I literally had four pieces of salami left. I have toasted some granary bread and just cut it up into triangles. We've got apples and grapes, blackberries from the garden. Um, what do we call these? Um, jalapenos and then the dip. And then I've just, oh, we've got olives as well. So yeah, oh, and cherry tomatoes. So I think this looks very nice for a quick supper fix. I think this looks really lovely and Aid's just pulled us a cider as well. This looks really, really good. Mmm. Mm. Do you know the toast works really well? Mm. We didn't have to go out and buy fancy French bread, did we? It's really good. And we are just about to start extraction. My sister watched this the other day and said it was really good. It's on Netflix. So the next day, and I'm going to declutter some of the hallway. I'm going to do the shoe storage, I think. I just wanted to show you, though, how lovely the unit here looks. I am so, so happy with this. Really, really happy. And we've been talking, and I think we're going to use it as... Um, it's a bit of a dust off already. Um, I think we're going to use it as like a bar area. We've got a little nook in the kitchen, uh, in the dining area. We're going to use it as a bar area, maybe even put the coffee machine on it, um, but put the drinks in there and we can store the glasses, tablecloths, all that kind of thing. That's what we're thinking at the moment. £30 I paid for that. I am really, really pleased. Um, I love that design. Really, really love the design. Love the knobs. And I love how the hinges has come up. We're not actually going to take any more off. I am so pleased. Uh, we've got like an antiques place near us, pack ha the pack house in Farnham. I've seen things like this for about £400 and we've done that for £30. And some hand sanitizer and nail polish remover. Oh, and we've fin since found the sander, brand new sander in the shed. Aid found it today. But I want to sort out the shoe storage. And we've got lockers for us. I'm not sorting aids, but I am going to go through mine. Got a lot of shoes. And I'm going to go through the kids. I've put my dad's slippers in there for now. 
and that one is Louise who's got football stuff in there as well. Bought these lockers in HomeSense and they've actually been really really handy. I think we're going to keep them in the shed though in the new house. They were a really good buy. When you're a family you just want somewhere to throw all your shoes and just keep so out of sight out of mind so it looks tidy and um, they've just worked a really really good treat for us and stacking them up as well yeah they've just worked really really well i was really really pleased with those start by emptying out this one and seeing what we've got pack open a pepsi first i have been drinking caffeine free lately just to see if it helps my anxiety a bit because i know when i stopped coffee years and years and years ago it really really helped in there. I think I better get the dustpan and brush. Anyway, to bin. Those are going in the shoe recycling centre and I am keeping these. I like all my white trainers. I'm umming and ahhing about those. Um, but all of these whoops, are going in the washing machine. I'll clean all those. The only thing I find, as you can see, I'm a big fan of Converse. I'm not really into the coloured ones anymore. I don't want to take stuff for the sake of it. These are for when I'm Dorothy from Wizard of the Oz. Oh, Wizard of the Oz. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Saying that, I've recently got rid of my dress that I wear as my Dorothy dress. I might get rid of those as well. Hmm. Yeah. Um. People get rid of. They're quite handy. They're quite new still. My boots I'm keeping. Yeah, um, I'm going to get rid of the black ones, I think, as well. I'm keeping. I have got my Disney shoes as well, which I wear, and I've got my ugly walking shoes. But I think that's what I'm going to keep. Next one is Holly's. Let's take Dad's slippers out. Dad keeps a pair of slippers for when he's here. Um, I think that's something to do with AIDS. And let's clear out Holly's stuff. A load of empty carrier bags. And they now live in here. Yeah, called with Holly. I didn't want to get rid of anything without her say so. These are all she's worn for work. All of this lot are going. These are top shop. I'm going to clean those up, I think, and sell them. And then um, trainers we're going to keep at home. That's it. Dad's slippers and a pair of trainers for Holly. Now, this, guys, is more ruthless decluttering, isn't it? Louis might be a different story. Actually, I don't know if there is much in here. Let's have a look. Louis' cupboard smells so much. I've put football boots and a ball pump and gloves in there. It's these ones. He got soaked in the rain once. I remember now. They smell so bad. I'm, I can't get hold of him. I'm hoping he's going to say bin them and those as well. And the rest is like football cones, which have all ended up disintegrating so they can go in the bin. And I am binning this as well. Still an improvement. I don't agree with getting rid of anything without their say so. So the stinky shoes are staying for the time being. Isn't that an improvement? I'm super happy. I'm now going to tackle this. This is mostly AIDS stuff. And actually, now my locker is tidier. I'm going to put my ugly walking shoes in there. Should now just be aid shoes. Let's see what we've got. All right, we definitely need to clean out the basket. Mum bought us the basket as a hamper one year for Christmas, didn't she? It involves a very big hamper. Right, aid, you've just said I can get rid of those. Yep, the double ones. Football boots. Yep. I need to look at those mirrors. you look underneath them, please? To These. See one it's the get rid of pile. Yep. And the rest we're keeping. Yeah? Yeah. You're watching me like you want me to still hold me back, still hold me back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me your love like it is. Like Yo, know, that's all been pulled out and cleaned behind as well. This is the get rid of pile. 
it's not bad going and that's it another job ticked off the list um i just wanted to say thank you to everyone for all your really helpful comments um your thoughts do stay your comments do stay with me for example alison i was thinking of you when you sort of said does it serve you no those shoes haven't served me for so long um i haven't worn them for ages i used to love wearing cons and i still do i wear my white ones um, and my pink ones but i haven't worn all the different colors for so long so no they don't serve me anymore um, we're going to be limited on shoe storage when we move into the house. The hallway is really pretty, but it's really quite an open space and we don't have larger walls to put things on. So I think we might need to get like a shoe storage cupboard for the downstairs loo. It's quite a large downstairs loo, so I think we might try and do something store storage wise. But I don't want to take loads of stuff with me that I'm then not going to use there either. So thank you for your comments. Even if I haven't responded to all of them, I'm sorry, life is a bit crazy at the moment. I do read every single one and they stay with us as well. And I sort of, Aid reads them as well. They are really, really helpful. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Let me know what you think of our new piece of furniture. I am so, so happy with it. And I want to do a lot more of that in the upcoming house as well. But thank you very much. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.